Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ninja Edits here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this effect. So, as you can see in this effect, the player is shooting while there are bullet waves coming out of his gun. It looks like the screen is rippling because of the impact of his shot. So, this adds emphasis to the shot, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So, first thing, you grab your clip and make it into a new composition. And I'm only, I'm only going to use the part where he is aimed in while shooting because that it look, I think it looks best when they're aimed in and shooting. So I'm going to split the layer here and I'm going to split the layer here. Alright, edit, split layer. Boom, boom. And I'm going to snap it to the front and then just trim the the clip to the composition. Alright, now the whole composition is just him shooting while he is aimed in. Now, you want to make a layer that is a black solid, and then you want to make another black solid. Now these two, you want to layer precompose them, and then in your precomposition, turn one of them off, and then on the other one, you want to go over here and look up uh, an effect called radio waves and pop, put it on. Now on the radio waves you want to make the color white, pure white. And you want to make the frequency in the radio waves 5, the expansion 35, and the lifespan 0.8. And down here you want to make the fade out time 5, which it already is. And the start width, I, you, I like 37.6. And for the end width, I like 23.6. So now we have this effect. It's going out and it's, uh, well, you can see better if we have a black solid underneath. It's starting to grow and then it fades out. So this will be our bullet waves. So now let's go back to our main composition. And now we have these white waves going over our clip. So to no, next we need to make an adjustment layer. So to do that you kind of hit control, alt, and y. It's good to know these shortcuts for the future. If you're making a big edit, then it'll be come in handy to be quickly, to be done quickly. So on this uh, adjustment layer, you want to go over to your effects, type in an effect called displacement, displacement map, right here. It's under distort, and put that on there. Now, for displacement map layer, you want to make that your pre-comp. And then for max horizontal displacement, you want to make it 10. And then for vertical displacement, you want to make it 10 also. And for edge behavior, you want to click it, check it. So now, let's uncheck the, um, what's it called? The pre-comp. And you can already see some ripples happening right here. I don't know, uh, let's, you can probably see that, right? So, they look a little, what's it called, harsh. So go back to your pre-comp and then go to the radio waves layer and now type in an effect called Gaussian Blur and put that on the radio waves. Now you want to make this 15, alright? Uh, actually a little more than that maybe. Let's make it 25. And now you can see they look a lot softer here and when I turn it off the waves look a lot softer too. Alright, now you can turn back this and make this like, make the opacity by pressing T and make it 4 or make it 5. Alright, now you can subtly see that if I turn this on and off that it makes it a little more visible. This shouldn't really be a, a very visible effect but it should be there now now it's rippling the gun and then that doesn't really make sense because like what's shooting shouldn't be rippling itself right or it just break so you want to remove the ripples around the gun and how you do that is you duplicate the layer of your clip of your clip and then you put that above your adjustment layer or actually yeah just your adjustment layer and then you want to hit your pen tool and just mask out the gun. It doesn't have to be very accurate because we're gonna feather it out, but you know, make it alright. So yeah, that should do. And I'm gonna just zoom out 
and just finish it off here and here. All right. So now if we just move this around, I can show you that now we just have another copy of the gun. So put it back and then for now this, we need to hit M on our keyboard and then hit F on our keyboard. This will bring up the mask feather and we just need to bring it to like 30 probably yeah 30 all right it'll smooth out the edges and now as you can see the gun is no longer rippling with the rest of the clip and in my edit I put on color correction and all that of course but I would recommend you do something to emphasize the gun so on the part of the edit that I used to take the ripples off the gun I also put um, exposure to make it brighter so it's more noticeable, glow to make it more noticeable, and curves just to give it a little more color correction. So if you all do this, you can get this effect very easily if you follow it step by step. Now I don't expect you guys to follow it step by step, I want you guys to make it your own. So uh, have fun with this effect. And I'll give you one more preview, let me just copy my col color correction, uh, black bars, boom boom and let's paste it here and it should make it look a lot better alright let's just ram preview quickly and we'll see what we've made today I would actually suggest m turning up the displacement ripples a little bit they're not really that noticeable in the one we did together I'm actually going to turn it up and then show you guys. So let's make this 20. Alright. Let's see how that looks. Uh, maybe that's a little too much. Make that 16. Alright, that's a little better. Alright, I'm just going to show you once without the color correction and once with the color correction. Alright, you can see it's rippling out, but the gun is not rippling, right? Okay, and then I'll show you once with color correction. And let's ram preview it. My computer is really slow, but it's doing me well today. So, you know, while you're waiting for this to see this, please subscribe. I only have nine subscribers at making this video, so, you know, I kind of want to grow. I haven't been making videos lately because of school, but I think I'm going back into the groove of making videos. So, as you can see, that it ripples out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I can. There's anything else to show you guys. So, I'll see you guys later in the next tutorial. Have a great day and subscribe.